What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the watts that you find in the wild area, how to collect all those watts and what you're going to do with those watts. What you what what you are going to do with those watts. Just just let's get on with the tutorial. So you enter the wild area and you're going to look around in the wild area and you're going to see these giant red pillars of light shooting up into the sky. And you're also going to notice these pillars that don't exist in spots where they're supposed to be. Now, these are what is known as dens and each of these dens have a currency that they give to you. So if you approach a den and click on it, but it has to have a red glow. If it doesn't have a red glow, it will get you nothing from it. So you approach the den and you click on a red glow. And it says there's a bit of energy trickling out of the den and you gain 200 watts to quickly start collecting those watts what you're going to do is just get on your bike and you're just going to head right over to the next one and they are pretty obvious on the map some of them glow they have a red aura to it and you go to the next one collect your 200 watts that's it and you just you just keep moving you don't stop you go to the next one hopefully you don't bump into pokemon you dodge all the pokemons click again i go up to here more energy trickling out the den i got another Another 200, that's another 400. And we just keep going. That's literally how we do it. So now we're going to approach a Pokemon with the yellow ore around it. Luckily, in this case, this Pokemon just appeared. And it has a glow on it. So Pokemon with the yellow glow on it will give you something else. So here's an example. We're just going to ca quickly catch Wingle and see what we get from it. So I'm just going to throw it out. My quick ball. Hopefully this, this works out pretty quick. Nice. And the amount of watts you get is equal to 295 watts. Now, you can collect watts outside of the wild area because these yellow aura Pokemon, they are everywhere, wherever there are Pokemon. So you'll see them show up. So make sure to collect them outside because watt currency gets you a lot of goodies. Okay, so now if you see a den with a light around it and it has a glow, you're going to click on it. You'll see energy pouring out from the den. And you'll get about 2,000 watts for that. So these are the high yield ones. You want to go for ones that you never touched before, have pillars of light coming out, because that's the most amount you'll get. And there's a haunter in this one. Now, if you approach a pillar, let's say that you already are finished with, you can't keep clicking on it. For example, I click on this. I'll get 200 watts. I'll click on it again, and it seems to be nothing in the den. So as you go throughout the wild area, you will encounter people that you can spend your watts on so for example we're gonna approach this guy and we're gonna say spend my watts what you can do essentially here is get certain pokeballs you haven't got so i can get a bunch of nest balls and different npcs in the wild area will give you different types of pokeballs as well you get the nest ball what a wishing piece does is if you go towards a den and throw one in there you can create another raid battle that you can go into yourselves you can also buy a bunch of tms you can get Trick, Dragon Pulse, Electro Ball, Ice Beam, and Future Sight that you can use. I mean, I'll purchase one, and you can purchase as many as you want and teach them to your Pokemon. So you get moves as well from spending watts. So it's a good idea to see how many watts you can collect and what Pokemon to use them on. Here's another example of what you can find with this NPC. This NPC has repeat balls, and what I hear is it's random, so the balls keep changing throughout. I'm not sure if the moves change throughout, but you can find moves with each of these guys that you approach in the water. So be smart about what you do with your Watts. I mean, you can go crazy and just get 112 repeat balls. I'm going to do that because I got to farm Pokemon. So my question of the video is, what are you guys going to be spending your Watts on? Let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.